Hi, Joel Logan with the Hole in the Ground Terrain. Um, going to do another update today on the tower. And you can see the tower. I'm standing at a distance from it so you can see it all. And like I was saying, I want to make this a tower of Arnor. Arnor is one of the uh, ancient lands that eventually was halfway destroyed and then eventually combined with Gondor. So anyway, I'm not going to get into all that because I'm sure I'll mess up telling it. But uh, I'm wanting to put some heraldry <coughs> of Arnor on there and um, there's a um, this is one basic symbol I found there's many things running out there with stars and a crown but this is a basic uh, heraldry symbol of Arnor this star so I'll put an ink pen in here for scale what I did I took this off the web pasted it into Word I stretched it out best I could printed it on my printer I'm gonna use this as a template um, to cut this out so I'm gonna go over here you can see my big scrap bucket over there I'm gonna try to find some foam and uh, see if I can cut this out so the next part I'll show you Hi that everybody I thought I would show you I just cut my pattern out <clears throat> with a little pair of scissors found me a two inch scrap piece of foam and of course found one that would, it would fit on and I'm gonna trace this out and then cut it but I want to show uh, how any pattern you can blow it up and uh, then trace it out on your phone. Uh, I have before just taped this on the phone. Probably gonna trace it out because as you're cutting, if you take paper on, it'll tend to get eat up or knocked off by the force of the scroll saw or band saw. Uh, so I'm gonna trace this out, then I'm gonna cut it out. All right, everybody, so I have my pattern and using two inch foam, I was able to get three usable half inch pieces here. Um, then usually you end up one that's not thick enough, but I might could use this piece as a pattern later on. So I think I'm going to try to put one on each side of the pieces of the screw bow, so I'm going to need a total of uh, eight of these. And we've got three, so I'll have to do this uh, two more times. Uh, but what I'm doing also, in the pattern, these little pieces were separated. So I'm taking one of my cutters from the Hot Wire Foam Factory. And uh, of course, there's other brands out there. I like them. They have really good customer service. And uh, they have some really cool products. But what I did, got this turned off, is I dug in. I didn't go all the way through to break it out, but I made a line here and here to give it that three-dimensional effect that's floating but not breaking it off at the same time. All right, so I'm going to make a few more of these, and then I'll uh, maybe film gluing this on. All right, everybody, I've been working on this uh, on and off for uh, today. I'm about to glue the last little one on. Now, these are not perfect. I left them to be kind of aged in weather. Uh, I'm going to zoom in in a minute and show you, but uh, all I'm doing is basically taking Aileen's tacky glue. This takes longer to set up, but I believe in the end it's a lot stronger than the hot glue gun. And uh, what I've been doing is putting just a temporary toothpick in uh, when you work with foam and then glue skewers and toothpicks work the best. But I'm going to glue this on and then just use one little toothpick to help keep it in place uh, so it doesn't slide. where it's not quite attached like the original Arnor symbol I showed you earlier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one little toothpick in here. Pull this out later and uh, fill it in. So I'm going to grab the camera and show you what I've been doing today. As you can see here, I've uh, put in quite a few of these eight all together. And I got a little bit of glue 
run and what I'm doing is just spreading it out with my finger uh, in the end I'm gonna try to put a textured coat of the foam coat on everything uh, but as you can see smear some of this out with my finger I'm gonna keep an eye on this for a little while before I go to bed uh, but I'm getting pretty close here um, one thing I've also did and I've been playing with this a lot over the past year you can see it I've tried to carve a lot of cracks um, into the foam to give it kind of a beating and weather look like this thing's very ancient maybe been in some battles took some hits uh, that'll really show up good I think when I um, draw brush everything in the end but overall hopefully you can see this what all I've been working on and uh, one of the last things I've been debating about uh, pouring some of these stars using sculpty pressing them in or maybe pressing them they've got holes in it so they can be sold in sewed in not sold in uh, I thought about actually using the stars or casting some I'd have to fill in those little holes but um, thinking about I'll show you here what I'm thinking Thinking about putting some stars all around it. Stars are a big motif with anything Arnor or uh, Gondorian. Uh, but I'm thinking about doing that. But overall, I uh, just want to get this project finished. And I think for now that's going to be my update for the weekend on the tower. And uh, I'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and um, keep keep uh, looking in to see my updates. I'm trying to do an update maybe once a week on this as I move toward finishing it. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and uh, let your friends know about our uh, YouTube channel too. Hope to do some tutorials in the next few weeks if there's time. Uh, but anyway, I'm trying to finish this monster up. I went back and figured, I've been working on this seven months, going on eight months uh, here and there. But uh, anyway, thanks for looking. God bless and please subscribe.